Okay, we're back in the uh, rare ninja manuals and today we're on Ninja Realms of Power, Spiritual Roots and Traditions of the Shadow Warrior by Stephen K. Haynes. Uh, Western world's foremost authority, and I, and I think he was at the time, in general fairness to him, because that's <clears throat> he had done the most research on whether it came out of the stuff that we don't agree with, but it was still the, the most research at the time. Um, probably... If Adam Adam, Andrew Adams would have carried on, he would have been. So 1986, so we're in the same year as this. God, I was <clears throat> eight years old when this was happening. So Stephen Hayes does it with much more seriousness than the others. He genuinely went to Japan, took pictures in Japan, or if not, you know, was living a sort of a Japanese-esque life back here. And even though some of his pictures are clearly America, they are, you know, done with a bit more authenticity than other ones. I've always loved that picture. I've never owned this book before. So this is David Conway, I think again. <clears throat> and um, as I say, Stephen Hayes does it with a lot more, a lot more sort of, authority in his pictures he's in japan there's proper ad you know it's not just in some random garden somewhere while i think some of them do do that but he has a lot more thingy and he clearly has done research into taoism so he starts here so a lot of his books i find with stephen hayes god look at him he's probably my age there or early i don't know how old is stephen hayes in 1986 so i'm not sure well then again i'm quite old now I'm getting ancient so um you know, he, he gets the characters written and everything. He, you know, he goes into the sort of legend. So it does lend that air of authenticity to it. Unfortunately, it was, you know, and he, and you can see even back then, he's on his Buddhist um, journey and doing all that with his his Buddhism. Um, I'm just going to flick through this, more pictures. So he goes into Shigendo. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm ill. So we've got the Shigendo going on. So he goes through a section on Shigendo. Obviously, I think what he's done here is the, oh, and there's Hayes. I did the same thing as Hayes, so I did this. I followed in the same journey, you know. So what people don't realise, as much as I've never properly spoke to Hayes, and recently we, we po nearly got onto a podcast together, what isn't happening, just not happening, guys. Um, but I went to Japan, went to live there, became an English teacher to train with Hatsumi. I did the fire walking. I went up the holy mountains. And the difference between me and Hayes is that Hayes and bodied it and and and, and in, as i say with all these authors i give them credit because they've gone out of the way to do something and ashida kim as well gone out of his way wrote something and in fact ashida kim's books are actually quite impressively written and um a lot of people don't realize that <clears throat> they have a going for his footage and the levitation and all that and the bullet catching but his books were written quite well when you go back and read them they're not they're not badly written um so but i came but instead of going into it I was like, no, that doesn't seem right. And I did my my um, go, which was that way, which was, uh, right, I'm going to have a look at this. And I came up with the other stuff, the historical stuff, the Bansen and Shuka and all that, which is, you know, you know the score. But we had a very similar experience, I think, me and Stephen Hayes, when we went to Japan and tried to find the ninja. But we had, like, the same experience, but two sides of the coin. I went to the Buddhist stuff. I found translators. I got people. I went to the museums. I published books i just did it 25 years after him 30 years i don't know um 1980 let's say he started and i started in 2007 so nearly 30 years 20 to 30 years later i did it he sold loads of copies i'm a poor author with a cold <laughs> so what he's clearly done here in this book is um gone through all the spiritual aspects see there is absolutely no reason that this book at all should have the word ninja on it should be japanese realms of power if this book was japanese realms of power or samurai realms of power and it had him there in sort of like his buddy stuff going up you could plausibly say that was a good book it's clearly got good research on um the history of these religions it's got him doing the religions he just bunged in a chapter on hands and fighting they sell it as ninja so and it's one of those where I have the same argument with different people all the time. And they do have this argument is they say, oh, well, then, you know, just the ninja did use it for the, so therefore they make it ninja this. But no, it doesn't quite work like this. The ninja used Shugendo, so it's ninja Shugendo. You're like, well, no, that's like saying a lawyer used um, a knife and fork. So it became the lawyer knife and fork style. It's like, no, it's the same knives and forks 
the butchers using it's the same knives and forks the queen's using you can't have the queen style and the butcher's style and like this is the carpenter's style knife and fork so when you go to a cafe you go i'm a butcher i need the butcher's style same as ninja did x so oh it must be a ninja version of it like no it's just it's like shuriken if a ninja used a shuriken which no one's saying they didn't no one has ever said they didn't we have said that the ninja didn't invent the shuriken uh, then it's not a ninja weapon. It's Other people are using it. So that's it. So I'll give a little bit more time on that. Thanks to David Conway. He did give me two other books, which were Ashida Kim books. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think I've already done them before. If not, I'll have a look and redo them. But that is perfect. That is superb, guys. So from Conway, Ninja Realms of Power, Ninja Shuriken Throwing, and Ninjutsu, The Art of Thingy. I've done these in other videos. Enjoy. <laughs>